Meet the Sky Terrier. Long, low, and level, this unique earth dog is among the AKC's most distinctive-looking breeds. Skies stand 9 or 10 inches high and feature a long, flat-lying coat and a peekaboo hairdo. They're known for big feathery ears that stand up like bat wings, but skies can also have drop ears, which lie flat against the large, long head. Beneath the profuse coat are short, muscular legs, a deep chest, and powerful torso. When seen in profile, these elegant but substantial terriers are twice as long as they are high. The Sky Terriers come in shades of gray, uh, black, and cream. There are some platinum skies also, and with the lighter coats, what you really want to look for are dark points. The tips of the ears, the muzzle, and often the tips of the tail should be black. The Sky has a double coat. Believe it or not, the coat is not as difficult to maintain as it looks, as long as you keep up with it. So a regular grooming and a combing once a week and a bathing a week to every two weeks. They do produce dander and they do drop coat throughout the year, but they don't molt coat. The Island of Skye is the largest and most northerly of Scotland's Inner Hebrides Islands. Sky Terriers were bred by the island's farmers to control fox and badger populations. They would go to ground. They were both diggers in that they went below ground, but they were also squeezers. They worked among the rocks. Wherever the vermin would congregate, they were trained to go after them and to kill them. So the Sky Terrier has always had this very profuse, dense coat that protected them from the extremes of the weather and the rain and the, and the and it also believe it or not protected them you know when they were working among the rocks or underground if one of the vermin tried to bite them it would protect their eyes in the 1600s this rough and ready terrier became a favorite of the british nobility an unusual turn of events for a working farm dog the peak of sky popularity came in the late 1800s when Queen Victoria became a great champion of the breed. A historian wrote that these were the days when a duchess would almost be ashamed to be seen in the park unaccompanied by her long-coated sky. Fearless, curious, and tough, sky still exhibit much of the old-time terrier metal. But long years as pets of the rich and royal have brought them a certain stylish refinement not seen in most farm dogs. Perhaps their number one personality trait is steadfast loyalty, which includes protectiveness toward their favorite people. Yeah, like they do, Skies do very well in an apartment as well as a home. Uh, they are very keen to adapt to whatever situation they might be in. They don't require a lot of exercise, but regular. So um, a small amount of exercise in the morning and in the evening, and then they're just happy to hang out. But there are a few people that have um, gotten the therapy dog certificate, <clears throat> and so they go out into the community and do therapy work. And there are some that do obedience. Skies are reserved with strangers, suspicious of other dogs, but affectionate and merry with those lucky enough to earn their favor. They're a shrewd choice for those looking for a bosom buddy of character and devotion. Let's summarize the Sky Terrier. Sky Terriers, Skies for short, are originally from Scotland. They are short of leg but solid and substantial. Skies are plucky but dignified, calm but sometimes stubborn, and famously loyal and devoted. Skies aren't particularly hyper terriers, but they do well with long walks and vigorous play. Maintaining the glamorous long show coat requires expert grooming. Modified clips are easier keepers. <laughs>